Okay, I am going to do the third part of the mixing agi artery. The third part is the Tagalgo Pangatine part. The one shown in here, the blue color, is the third part of mixing agi artery. And it enters the Tagalgo Pangatine fossa through the tag this fissure. This is the Tagalgo maxillary fissure. So it passes through this fissure into the Tagalgo pangatine fossa. So before entering the fossa, it gives two branches, and that is the infraorbitum branch that is being given here, and the posterior superior angiomer branch, this one here. Posterior superior angiomer branch here, and the infraorbitum branch so before entering it gives the posterior superior angiomer and infraorbitum the posterior superior angiomer as you know this is the maxilla so it is going downward and it as we know posterior superior angiomer angiomer is related to teeth so it supplies the teeth here uh, like it supplies the mongers and pre mongers and also as it is lying on the maxilla it supplies maxillary air sinuses so it supplies the maxillary air sinuses and mongers and pre mongers now the infraorbitum artery infraorbitum artery um it is actually um uh, lying uh, from the infra infra orbitum fissure it then goes into the groove canal and then foramen infra orbitum foramen and opens onto the uh, face so it gives two branches here the anterior superior angiomer and the middle superior angiomer the middle superior angiomer is supplying the yeah, middle uh, so one supply the Premongers and the anterior supplies the incisors and canines. So we have done the infraorbitum part and posterior superior part. Now the artery, the third part, that is tagalgopangatine part, enters the fossa and gives different branches here, which are as for before doing the uh, different branches of the um, third uh, part in the uh, tagago pangatine fossa we need to know the communications of tagago pangatine fossa uh, these communication are given in the separate video uh, that is the communications of the uh, tagago pangatine boundaries and communications of tagago pangatine fossa but here i am giving giving an overview so this is uh, actually the tagago pangatine fossa this home and uh, this home is the Chagago and how it is communicating and here it communicate with orbit through the inferior orbitum fissure and posteriorly with the foramen rotundum and pharyngeal canal and with the tagagoid canal so and so immediately it communicate with this phenopangatine foramen and that is communicating it to the that is connecting it to the nose region and here also it communicates inferiorly with the greater and lesser pangatine canals greater pangatine canal leads to the hard palate so remember it greater pangatine canal leads to the hard palate and lesser pangatine canal lead to the soft palate now we have done the relations so we can do the branches here now as i said earlier the infraorbitum and posterior superior and younger are given before they enter the tagagopangatine fossa so what branches are being given here as i told you here that there is the uh pharyngeal canal and tagagoid canal so here we also have the pharyngeal artery and the tagagoid art canal artery so here this one is the pharyngeal artery and this is the artery to the tagagoid canal pharyngeal artery supply the nasopharynx and uh, the um, your artery to the tagagoid canal it actually supplies the auditory tube auditory tube upper pharynx and middle ear this artery to the tagagoid canal and now we are with the Pangatine arteries. As I said, there is greater pangatine canal and lesser pangatine canal. So, 
there is a descending pangatine artery that gives off the nasal pangatine and greater pangatine artery. The greater pangatine artery that leads to the hard pangat and nasal pangatine artery leads to the soft pangat and supplies the structure there. So greater pangatine canal is opening in this foramen and uh, uh, the arteries emerging out from the greater pangatine foramen and then uh, it moves naturally and anteriorly until it reaches the incisive foramen and here it communicates uh, with the nose and supply different knees and gives different knees and branches and it also gives uh, branches to the pangat and nasal pangatine artery is emerging from this nasal pangatine foramen it runs posteriorly and supplies the soft pangat and also the tonsils uh, the last artery is the spinopangatine artery, it's just very simple. It gives the uh, posterior medial and posterior lateral branches. Posterior medial supplies the your nasal septum and posterior lateral supplies your lateral side of nose. And we are done with the third part of maxillary artery. So third part of maxillary artery is giving uh, infraorbital and posterior superior angiomer branch that are before entering the fossa. And in the fossa it gives the pterygoid uh, artery to the pterygoid canal and to the pharyngeal and pharyngeal artery and greater and lesser pangatine artery, spinopangatine artery. So we are done with the um, uh, um, branches of the third part of mixing of the artery. Thank you.